Fam, I don't mind telling y'all, this sucks. <laughs> this shit, it sucks. No, we are in the midst of like, this great, great storm, whatever. Come out to the coast! We'll have a good time! We'll have a few laughs! All sorts of snow and hail and rain and just flooding and wetness and misery. One of those um, Instagram Los Angeles meme accounts posted something and I was just like, I moved out here to get away from this type of weather. <laughs> and like the last time I checked it had over like 300 likes. All sorts of people were commenting, telling me that I brought this with me. I'm just like, no, motherfucker, I've been out here for a minute. <laughs> I didn't bring this. This came on its own. Don't blame me. I didn't, I didn't bring this. It's terrible. It's miserable. I hate this. Like half the reason I moved out here was, you know, for the, the screenwriting shit, but the other half, yeah, was to escape this, this type of weather. Oh man, I just hate it. I really hate it. It's the worst. Like this weather, it demotivates me. It depresses me. I know people get mad like, don't use words like depression, like all oh, willy nilly. A, hey, this weather depresses me. It makes me feel like shit. <laughs> makes me not want to do anything, anything. That includes cooking. I don't feel like cooking anything tonight, so I'm actually stepping out to get some food. And if you're wondering why I'm stepping out instead of like ordering delivery, DoorDash or anything, number one, I just don't trust delivery. I just don't trust, especially DoorDash, just like regular folks who are just doing this on the side, like you're not even like really hired by the restaurant to deliver, I don't trust y'all because y'all don't know what the fuck y'all are doing. But the second reason is just really, I just need to get out of the house. Like this is day two of this, day two or day three of this terrible weather. And I've pretty much just like been in the house. So I just need to get out. I need to get out. All right, this looks fine. Nothing too special, right? <laughs> so for those of you who are just like, Jay, thought you were going to try to eat better or whatever. Number one, I am eating better. <laughs> this is not a pizza. I did not get a pie full of calories, you know, with, with all sorts of toppings or, and, and all that good stuff. This was a very simple pie. Hand-tossed, crust, light cheese, pepperoni and green peppers, that's it. I even did the supposed calculations, you know, the calories to see how many calories there are in a slice. It's like 220 calories is what it is. The worst part about this is the sodium. I already, look, I already know, I already know. <laughs> but like I mentioned earlier, I didn't feel like cooking anything because the rain just really, it really just drains me of all motivation, of all energy, of just all everything. Like I really do, and I've mentioned this before, I really do hate the rain. This is not just some like, oh, you know, uh, whatever, it's raining. Like, no, the rain affects me on like a mental and an emotional level and not in a good way. You know how some people, they love the rain. They love to sleep during a rainy day or, you know, a rainy day is the perfect time to have sex. No, none of that shit. I do not like the rain. The rain affects me, as I said, on an emotional and mental level. It's like, okay, if it, you know, rains today, has to rain one day or whatever, yeah, that's fine. But this shit that we're getting right here, which is the same shit that, not the same shit, but it's just like, it's it's more extreme, but you know, it's the sort of shit that we've been getting pretty much all year. Like, it's just like, what is going on? I mean, climate change, but <laughs> what is going on? You know, like it's been raining a hell of a whole lot out here lately. And I don't mean to just go on and on about the rain. I just fucking hate the rain. And it's fucking with me. And another reason, you know, why this is like really affecting me is because it always rains on the weekend. So it's just like during the week when can't do anything but work, you know, for the day job, I'm just, you know, stuck in the house working. Okay, you know, the weekend comes, you know, maybe I can do a little something, you know, go out, hang out with people, see some people, do something. No, rains. All weekend. This might be God's way of saying you need to stay in the house and save some money. So, okay, fine, fine. But again, it's just, you know, it's just depressing <laughs> and demotivating. And I hate it. I really hate it, y'all. I hate it. But enough, uh, <laughs> enough bitching about the meteorological shenanigans that we are enduring uh, out here in Southern California. 
I do want to update y'all on what I have and have not been doing. First, let me say I have not been writing. Just hasn't been happening. I think that my desire to do the Gallagher challenge, write a script a month, was a little too ambitious. I did not take into account that life would happen, rain would happen, just all sorts of shit. Yeah, it's just, it, it's not working out. And so I don't think that that I will realistically write 12 scripts, even if most of those scripts are shitty, I don't think that I will realistically write 12 scripts this year. Maybe in another lifetime. Maybe when I don't have other adult responsibilities, I can pull this, something like this off. But right now, it's not looking like it's going to happen. That is not to suggest that I will not write this year. The script that I did start, I want to finish it. Just because I, I like to finish what I've started. So I'm going to push through and, and get that one done. And we'll see what happens with it. It's really funny because that script was really supposed to be like, just kind of the script to get me back in the groove of writing and everything. Like no one is ever going to see this script. I will probably never talk about it after I finish it. But while I'm working on it, you know, it's just like, all right, let me, let me go ahead and get through it. I am a third of the way through this script. So it just makes sense to just go ahead and finish it. Right? Right. But that aside, you know, I've mentioned before that um, there's a script that I want to write called Azalea. Shout out to my man, Kenny, who, who, who picked up <laughs> on what Azalea is going to be about. Um, shout out to him. But yeah, uh, I do want to tackle Azalea this year. And then I'll figure out maybe like a third script to work on. So on the writing front, there's that. Also, yesterday I found out that I was not accepted to uh, the Hillman grad writing mentorship program, mentorship initiative. I totally forgot that I had even applied for that. I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Hillman grad, if you don't know, is the uh, production company started by Lena Waith. And yeah, you know, apparently I applied for this mentorship initiative and yeah, got nowhere. They sent me a nice little letter saying that you were not accepted. Try again some other day, some maybe in the future. So I was like, oh, okay. But however, a few weeks back, I did find out that I advanced to the second round of the Black Boy Rights, Black Girl Rights Mentorship Initiative. <laughs> Black Boy Rights is uh, the company founded by Mike Gallo. Mike, forgive me if I mispronounced your name. But uh, through this company, um, in association with Stage 32, they've created the Black Boy Rights and Black Girl Rights Writing Mentorship Fellowship Initiative. And so, yeah, you know, I I do remember. <laughs> I do remember actually submitting for this. And so it was nice to get the email saying that I advanced to the second round. Now, the thing about this writing initiative, and I have to... I have to guess it's it's also the same with the Hillman grad initiative is that these are more focused on people who want to write for television. As I mentioned before, TV writing is great. You know, if if I could if I break into TV writing, then boom, you know, I, I mean, I will definitely, you know, go that route. But my focus really is features. I'm not looking to write on a TV show, but if it happens, it happens. But my focus is features. And I do remember when applying to the Black Boy Rights Mentorship Initiative, they gave a choice as to what you want to submit. You could submit like an original pilot or you could submit a feature length script. And I thought very long and hard about this, knowing that, you know, they they're really, you know, they were really like, you know, looking at TV people or applications with pilots, I would say. I opted to submit the only pilot <laughs> that I have, which is an adaptation of my novel guest list. The novel is very episodic. I feel like it lends itself to, you know, that kind of like limited series storytelling. So yeah, I wrote a pilot based on the first few chapters of guest list. Now I'm in the second round. At this point, I'm really just waiting to hear back from them. They said that they're going to contact those of us who are going to move on uh, to the next round for telephone or video, like Zoom interviews, I guess. So I'm just waiting to hear back. So we'll see. We shall see if I make it to the third round. If I do, I will let y'all know. Also, um, 
shout out to my people who, who've been waiting on me to upload a video. <laughs> I've had several people be like, Jay, what's going on, man? You know, you said you're going to be more, you know, be more active, be more productive and upload more videos. And the thing about it is terrible weather aside, I have been like out in the streets. I have been hanging out with people, you know, I have been filming. So I have all this footage. And the, the truth is I've just been lazy. I've just been lazy. At the end of the day, you know, I just haven't done anything with it. Didn't sit down to edit anything or, you know, even organize anything. You know, I've been out and about. I have been filming stuff. I've even filmed videos talking about my writing and blah, blah, blah. You know, what I have and have not been doing. This is probably my fourth or fifth time. <laughs> <laughs> like shooting something with an update. Yeah, that's really that's really all it all all that it is. So yeah. And who knows, I may share some of that footage. I may end up making some videos anyway. Like you guys might get like a Super Bowl video in the near future, even though at this point the Super Bowl happened like a month ago. Another thing that has honestly kept me kind of like preoccupied, I did get myself a new toy and you know, y'all know that I want to move and everything. <laughs> and it's just like, I keep spending money on dumb shit. <laughs> but this was something that, you know, I decided that I wanted. And I'm actually pretty happy that I got down with this. So I got myself an MPC. Uh, it's the MPC-1. Those of you all know that in the past I have dabbled in music. And, you know, I continue to dabble in music and everything. But for me, honestly, I wasn't... I wasn't really getting the results that I wanted from what I'd been using. And for the most part, you know, I'd been using software. I'd been using uh, Apple's Logic program. Um, I do have an MPK mini, uh, mini controller. But, you know, I, I just, I wasn't satisfied with the results that I was getting. I'll just put it to you like that. And, you know, I have friends who are music artists, rappers, singers, etc. And, you know, I would send them beats, you know, just on some, just like, hey, you know, if you like this, use it, you know, like whatever, it'd be cool. I'd love to, you know, make some stuff for y'all. Cause I don't, I, I don't want to rap. I do not want to get on the microphone. And really, I don't, I, I don't. But, you know, the feedback that I kept getting was just like, yeah, this is cool, but, you know, like, it's it's this, or it's it's not this. And I just stumbled across the MPC-1. And, you know, I just started doing research and getting into it. And I realized that the sound that I am trying to create, I would be able to do so with this little box. <laughs> and I really mulled over the decision for, for a very long time. If y'all want to know how long, like, I, I, I mulled over this decision... I was thinking about doing this like around the holidays and what really moved me to just make the purchase this this last time was I noticed that the price had shot up like the price shot up by like two hundred dollars now I was like okay I'm definitely not going to get it now this is a sign from God <laughs> to just kind of chill out and I don't know you know I decided to you know get on Amazon or whatever and check the price and that's when I discovered that the price had fallen and it had fallen even more than what it was when I first discovered it. If the price shot up $200, the price came back down like $300. And I was like, oh yeah. I was like, look, I just got to bite the bullet and I just got to get it. <laughs> so I went ahead and ordered it and I've been playing with it for past few weeks. And uh, I got to say, I got to say I'm having fun. There's a learning curve. There's an absolute learning curve. And I think, I think that what has helped me kind of get over that curve is just the fact that, well, I, 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 I know what I want. I know the sound that I'm looking for. And, you know, the, the whole world of like music production, you know, it's like, it's not like I'm unfamiliar with, you know, every, it's just learning this piece of equipment in order to do what I want to do. And once I learned how to do that with this box, then things have just been moving rapidly. It's just, oh, okay. All right. So I'm really getting, getting back up to speed and hopefully I'll be pumping out some, some old school boom bap. Or to Primo, that's my lane. That's, the, you know, I like that sound. That, like, 90s East Coast boom bap. Shit, man, I might fuck around and even make some, like, Trackmasters or puffy, shiny suit type stuff. <laughs> and if you're just like, Jay, what what is this, you know, music stuff? I thought you were in the movies. I thought you were in the film. I am. But the music stuff is my creative outlet away from writing, away from filmmaking. Like, filmmaking... Screenwriting, like, those are my passions. But sometimes you, you just want to do something different. You just want to, you know, relax 
What is, you know, it like, it like this, that's my hobby for lack of a better word, right? Like, I don't know that your passion, your pursuit can really be your hobby because can it really be like, sometimes I just want to escape and I can sit down, cut on the box, chop up some samples, throw some drums on there, get into it. Just like, yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. So yeah, friends, that is, um, that is the update. That's what's going on with me. Going to try to try to lift myself out of this lazy, lethargic phase. Going to try to overcome the rain. Shit is miserable, fam. <laughs> Absolutely miserable. Oh, uh, well. It is what it is. 